what's up guys look at here so today i'm going to show you how to um basically install the plugin mob disguise and how to use it so um the first thing you want to do is one make sure you have the latest bucket currently it's 1.2.5 but if it's a later version than that make sure you have it and um and you want to make sure that uh it's updated to the latest minecraft too um the latest one is obviously 1.2.5 right now so that's the one that i have um well actually it's one I have the 1.2.4, but it works with the 1.2.5, so it doesn't matter. Um, once you do that, then you want to get the plugin. So you can just go to bucket.org. Well, actually, I'll have this linked in the description. Description, so just type in mob skies. Okay. Actually, that didn't work. Let me just Google search that. All right, here. Just skies. There we go. Okay, so um, once you get to the uh, <coughs> dev bucket page, which I should have linked in the description, um, just go to the download, and then just hit the download again, and you can save the file. And now, once you do that, you want to locate wherever you saved it. Mine goes to my desktop, but if it goes somewhere else, make sure you just find it. Then just open your server folder and go to plugins, and now you can just drag Mob Disguise from your desktop to your plugins folder. And once you do that, go to Craft Bucket Starter or whatever you use to start your server. Just double click that and it will uh, load up the um, plugin. Once you do that, you can just stop. And now you can start it one more time. And hopefully, we should have some kind of. Yeah, Mom Disguise right here. We have a config file. So actually, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, and you do need Notepad if you didn't already know that. I've see that in all my tutorials but yeah so these are just basically the blacklist of what um, these are the um, mobs you can do right now so um, if you change any of these to false then you can't uh, and um, I'm trying to think obviously permissions I use permissions X I don't have it installed but it's pretty self-explanatory just to hook it up if you want to do permissions just go back to the page and go back and um, uh, permissions so you just go to the group that you want um, the permissions for and you would add this here so that they would be able to use it and um, yeah so that's permissions they're pretty simple I don't think I have to go over that in detail um, but now that you do that I'll show you how to use it in game so have my server started and now I'm gonna go ahead and open Minecraft um, so yeah let's just join the server okay so make this a bit bigger I can why isn't it getting bigger there we go okay so it's a bit bigger we have mob disguise installed so the first way to check if it's installed is just do slash MD for mob disguise um, so it is working the uh, command came up and everything so if you get mob disguise, um, basically what it lets you do is it lets you transform into mobs and other players. So uh, when you change into mob disguise, you personally cannot uh, see yourself as the mob. Like if you were to do like um, F5 or whatever, like you won't be able to see yourself, but other players uh, will see you as that thing. So like if we do slash mob disguise place ocelot. So now um, I won't myself see myself as an ocelot, but uh, actually let me get away but uh this is kind of annoying okay so I myself am not gonna see myself as an ocelot but I guarantee you um, other players will see you as that if you want to switch to um, another player in the game like let's say I want to mob this guy's as notch I can just put a P before the the um, the mob and then put the name so the slash uh, MD space P space and then the name of the player and then just hit enter. So now I am notch. Um, it doesn't. It won't show up to you personally, but everyone else on your server will see you as um, notch. And um, actually, if I type in slash list down here, slash list. God damn it. Okay, slash list. Um, it's not currently showing that, but um, if you slash message a player, um, slash message look to an eight. As you see, it it um it comes up as notch. So if you really want to fool a player, you can just use slash message, and then they'll think that um uh, you are that player. So 
that's one trick. Um, other than that, uh, you can look go to the uh, bucket dev page for a list of like all the mobs you can transform into. Um, actually, just kidding. That's in not here. Um, but you can pretty much transform into everything. It's pretty simple. And then you can do baby. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. Oh, types. I didn't even know that command. Apparently, you can do slash types. Oh, that's pretty nice. I actually didn't know you could do that. Um. <coughs> Alright, well, that's basically the uh, plugin in a nutshell. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. If not, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope I helped you. If I did, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a quick uh, like rating, and maybe subscribe to my channel for other videos on Minecraft and basically just other stuff. So, other than that, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope I helped you, and bye.